when I finally came to a stop, I just remember all that, just, just the crunching, and all the, then all of a sudden just the, the stop. This is the crumpled aftermath of Caleb Whitby's Chevy Silverado sandwiched between two semi-trucks on I-84 in Eastern Oregon, where black ice, fog, and cold created a driving nightmare. I just remember praying and saying, just, just please protect me, help me get through this. I slid right into the back of that trailer and hit him. Just then, Caleb noticed the lights of another semi headed straight for him. He hit it with such force that it ended up swinging the back end of my pickup underneath the, the truck that I hit, underneath that trailer, and the nose of my pickup got put underneath his trailer. Sergei Karpluk was also involved in the icy pileup. He was the first to find Caleb and snap this incredible photo of what he told us is Caleb peeking out through what is actually the rear window of his truck. I, I dug down and all I saw was just just pile of metal and two wheels. I mean, I couldn't believe there there, there is something there. The only place that's left, you know, kind of standing up, uh, pointing up, was the place where Caleb was. Caleb used his knife to cut the seatbelt off of him and crawl out of the mangled truck. With just a few cuts and bruises, the first thing he did after freeing himself was start to help others. I was just glad to be alive and, and get out of there. 